There have been a few times where I've installed a clean, fresh version of WordPress and I've decided, hey, I've messed something up right at the get-go, right at the beginning. And I thought, man, I just want to start again. So how do you do that? There's two options. Option A, you can go to your cPanel, uninstall WordPress entirely from your hosting account, and then you can reinstall it to start fresh. Or you could simply install a WordPress reset plugin. I'll show you both options. Both work effectively. Option A, log into your cPanel, go down to your WordPress management area or your one-click install area, find the installation that you want to remove. So this one here, let's say, and you can click uninstall and it will delete the entire installation as if it never existed. Then you'll have to go through the process to create a new installation onto that subdomain and you'll have a fresh instance of WordPress. Option number two, you can use a WordPress reset plugin. So if you log into your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, add a new plugin. We're going to look for a WordPress reset plugin. There's one that I normally use. I'll just try and find it. This one here, WP reset, simple as that. Let's install and activate. All right, bingo, I'll just refresh the dashboard. Okay, I'm just gonna find where that plugin is located. I think I'll just have to go to, here it is, so open. So I just went back to plugins, installed plugins, WP reset, let's open the reset tools. And I can do a full site reset and it should be free. Okay, so here we go. I can choose to activate or reactivate this particular plugin. If you've stuffed something up, it's usually the case that you've stuffed up something to do with the theme. So you may or may not want to reactivate the theme or the design. Similarly, the plugins. If you want a fresh reset, leave that deselected. Then type in reset in this box here. Let's reset site. Yep. Okay, so now you should see that all of your plugins and your um, theme is now reset back to how it was as if it was a fresh installation. Now, if this plugin doesn't work perfectly for you, it has worked every time for me, just go back to plugins and search for another WordPress reset plugin and it should work exactly the same. But if you've got any questions, please ask in the comments and give this a thumbs up. See ya.